Melissa with What Mommy Wants and I'm doing another review for Charlotte's First Birthday Giveaway Gala and this sponsor today is Rock and Green. Alright so whether or not you cloth diaper it doesn't matter. Rock and Green is good for more than just cloth diapers. So they sent me, I'm already a customer as you can see this is one of my full size bags. I think I have like six in my laundry room. Um, but that's my full size bag. This one is uh, Motley Clean, which I love. It smells like, I don't know, it's just like a fresh, clean, almost like a clean linen type smell. But Rock and Green um, has several different flavors um, of scents that they have, and they're all like delicious, I want to say. But they, um, they're they all based on a rock group of some sort. So we have um, the three samples that they sent me. I like the sample size. You can buy just the sample size. These are great for travel. Um, I've actually bought several sample sizes myself just um, to take with me. So we go to California a lot. So we will be taking this with us. Um, and we have before. But this is great. There's two to four loads depending on um, what type of machine you have and what type of water you have too. But it says, let me read you the directions for this, which are the same on the big bag, but fill your washer with hot water. This is for a soak, to rock a soak. Fill your washer with hot water and three tablespoons of rock and green uh, along with your diapers. Let it soak for 30 to 60 minutes. I do it overnight just because it's easier for me that way because otherwise I tend to forget about laundry in the washer if I put it in during the day. So what I do is I put them all in there at night soak them overnight and then in the morning I just turn it turn it on and it rinses rinses it out and then I do a full wash which I think is what it says here um, let it soak and then launder as usual skipping the soap so what I'll do is put three tablespoons and hot water and my diapers in the laundry I have a top loader and we also have a water softener so we have soft water but I still use the classic rock because I like the scents but um, back to my little soak routine routine um, so I do that, I leave them overnight, I come back in the morning and I turn it on so it'll, you know, it'll do its rinse cycle and then I turn it back on with no soap on a full wash and then I do an extra rinse. So basically just like my regular laundry routine, only I'm putting the soap in and the soak instead of during the wash cycle. So I have, um, it still uses the soap but it soaks in and then I do, basically it's almost like a triple rinse because I'm doing the wash without soap so it's going to wash out some soap there and then it, and the rinse, rinse cycle it'll rinse some more and then I usually do an, an additional rinse because I use three tablespoons instead of one which I usually use. So I'll do an extra rinse. So I've got soaked overnight, washed with no soap, with the with the rinse cycle and then an additional rinse cycle so that's how I do my rock a soak um, but um, the tip on this is repeat the process anytime you need a good deep cleaning if your diapers have a lot of buildup or residue um, sometimes it might take a few soaks if you've been using um, if you've been using everyday laundry detergent which will leave a res residue you might want to rock a soak a couple of times um, just to get some of the residue out and if it's still giving you issues you might need to strip your diapers but we'll get into that in another um, review or just another video but for now we'll just say you might need a rock a soak a couple of times if you've been using regular detergent on your cloth diapers um, but just for a regular wash now the directions I'm going to read you the directions and then I'm going to tell you how I do it because every wash is going to vary it's going to depend based on um, what type of washing machine you have what how hot your water gets how much water you put in your washing machine and it's also going to depend on whether or not you have hard or soft or middle um, not hard not soft water but um, so it's going to depend and it's going to be a trial and error process to figure out what routine works for you luckily for me it was basically the first try worked good so um, but some people you know you're going to try different amounts different amounts of water you may need to change the water temperature on your water heater um, then dump your diapers or clothes into the washing machine and do a cold rinse wash. So you're going to do a rinse first. So your first step is rinse uh, with cold water um, to get the nasties out prior to the wash cycle. 
the more water the better so you want you don't want to um, my husband has a tendency to turn when I'm doing diapers because it's a, it's not a full load and we have a larger washer it's not a full load so he'll send it down to partial so it doesn't fill up with as much water trying to save water well what ends up happening is I have to wash my diapers again which uses more water so make sure you have um, the water level up on the high highest setting because you want a lot of water because more water means more agitation so there's more room in there for the clothes to bump around against each other um, but that's all detailed on their website too and I'll include a link um, so Da, 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 da. the more water the better add your detergent and do a hot wash use two to three tablespoons per load for those with soft water or an HE machine use one to two tablespoons I don't have an HE machine I have a top loader old-fashioned washing machine it's probably just an old washing machine but I use one tablespoon and that's all I need it gets my diapers clean I have soft water so, and it says one to two tablespoons if you have soft water or an HE machine. Um, I have soft water, so I go with the lower, and I would recommend starting with the lower. And if the lower works for you, you don't need to increase it, and that's kind of what I did. I used one tablespoon, and it worked, so I stuck with it. Um, if you start on higher, then you might have buildup issues. If, it does, you know, if, you're, if you're having buildup issues, you might be using too much soap or not enough water. So, or your water might not be getting hot enough. This is all things to check. So if one thing, if you try it the first time, change one thing from your routine. And if that makes it better, good. Stop. You've found your routine. If not, change something else. Um, but again, trial and error. But with the, with the Rock and Green, I used one tablespoon and it works perfectly. I didn't have to change it. But start with a lower amount. And the fact that I use one tablespoon means that my bag of Rock and Green is going to last just that much longer. So that's, um, that's an awesome tip to start low. Um, and then you're going to do a double rinse. So my routine, which I've had, I have it um, typed out for you on the blog. So if you're watching on YouTube, hop over to the blog so you can see it in writing so you don't have to keep rewinding. Um, but it's on the blog, but I'm going to tell you real quick. I rinse with, with cold water, just a pre-rinse cold water. Um, and that's like I you know shake off the soiled diapers into the into the toilet spray off any diapers that were super messy um, so sometimes they're a little bit wet from spraying them off if I sprayed them off right before sometimes I'll spray them off and then lay them in the bathtub to dry before um, a load if the loads not quite ready pre rinse so I do pre rinse wash or cold sorry pre rinse cold then a hot wash with one tablespoon of rock and green that's my amount that works for me with my soft water my water temperature and my washing machine it might be different for you. So they have a map on their website that you can look up your area and see um, what type of water you have. That would help you determine which formula you would need. But um, so my site, my routine is rinse cold. Well, get rid of the poops first. I take all the. I usually I mostly have pocket diapers, so I take all the inserts out, um, and then a cold rinse, a wash on hot with one tablespoon of rock and green, and then. Um, that's going to include a rinse and then you're going to, I always do another rinse. So dirty diapers on cold for a rinse, then wash with one tablespoon, then an additional rinse. That's my wash routine. Then I throw them in the dryer. If there's any stains, um, sometimes I just throw them in the dryer and they, they're fine. If there's any really bad stains that maybe she had something that had a lot of color in it and it stained, um, I'll just throw it out in the sun and the sun naturally bleaches them. And not only that, but it's also safer for the environment. You're using less electricity, so it's safer on your electric bill. Um, but sometimes if it's only one or two, I'll just throw those out in the sun and then throw the rest in the dryer. It only takes about 30 minutes. Um, but that's my routine. And I, I love the Rock and Green. Anything bad about them? I want to say I've not had a bad experience with Rock and Green. I haven't had any buildup issues, no rashes, nothing. I haven't had any any bad experience with Rock and Green. The customer service is awesome, and anytime um, you have a question, you can email their um, their guru, or even you can email the the owner or creator Kim directly. You can email her. Uh, that's all on the website. Very open, honest, um, and great communication between the the company and the customer. Um, and you could also just post on Facebook if you have a question. I see a lot of people on their Facebook just post a question and they get answered almost right away. So um, that's another way to contact them. But 
Um, I don't. I haven't had any bad experiences. The customer service is great. The product's great. It's a good value. Depending on which formula formula you get, um, it's ranges in price from. Um, I think it's thirteen dollars on up to like fifteen or sixteen dollars for a forty-five slash ninety load bag. So forty-five slash ninety. If you're using um, an HE or soft water, uh, it's going to be it's going to last for closer to ninety because you're using half as much. If you don't, if you have a regular uh, washing machine with either hard water or um, you know you need more than a tablespoon of soap, then it's going to be closer to forty-five loads. But which is a great deal if you um, bought a regular detergent that contained all of the phosphates and dyes and enzymes and brighteners um, that are not good for your skin um, or your health or the environment. Um, you might pay a little bit less for them, but again, you're buying all those fillers and additives that you really don't need. Um, and so you might spend a little bit less on something like that, but again, it's not going to be cloth diaper safe if you're cloth diapering. It's going gonna, it's gonna to build up on your clothes, your towels. If you've noticed that your towels don't absorb much, it could be because the soap that you're using has, um, it has created a buildup on your towels. So another thing that I did with my rock and green was I rocked a soak on my towels to get some of the res residue off of my towels so that they would be um, more absorbent. So if you notice your towels aren't drying, rock and green could be the solution to that. So... Um, but yeah, I've had no bad experiences with Rock and Green. I love my Rock and Green soap. That's why I have six bags of it in my laundry room. That's why I take it with me when I travel. And as part of Charlotte's first birthday giveaway gala, you're going to have the chance to win your own bag of Rock and Green. So whether or not you've tried Rock and Green before, whether or not you're cloth diapering, you're going to love Rock and Green because you can use it for anything. They also have a list that I will also include in the blog post. There's going to be lots of links in the blog post about Rock and Green to help you um, figure out how to use it, what you need, and um, and there's a list of tips of other things that you can use Rock and Green for. It's not just for cloth diapers and, or clothes. You can use it on your cloth diapers, your clothes, everyday cleaning around your house, you know, your bathtub anything and it's all natural there's no fillers it's um safe for the environment safe for your family safe for your baby safe for your pets um there's absolutely nothing that i can say bad about rock and green i love rock and green but as part of charlotte's first birthday giveaway gala rock and green is going to give one of you guys a bag of your own you get to choose the scent you also get to choose the formula um the soft rock only comes in bare naked ladies babies Bare naked babies, sorry. Um, so yeah, as part of the giveaway, they are going to offer a bag to one of you guys. And if you um, if you subscribe on YouTube, that's an extra entry into the contest. So make sure you subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, and then hop over to the blog. Um, if you're on the blog, hop over to YouTube and make sure you subscribe there. That'll give you an extra entry into the contest. And uh, the giveaway starts December 5th and will end on December 16th. I'll have winners the weekend of the 17th. Um, we will be going out of town for Charlotte's birthday and coming back. So um, get, allow me until Monday maybe to act actually have the winners emailed and posted. So please um, make sure you come back and make sure you sign up for my emails because then you'll get the email that tells you when it's posted in case you forget. So... Um, Thanks for watching and happy birthday to my little Charlotte and good luck in the contest.